Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best. You heard? <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up? Oh, man. Oh, man. You don't want to live on Lower Wacker Drive, man. You don't want to live on Lower Wacker Drive. When I first moved to Chicago... Uh, I think it was like uh, my second year in Chicago. I had just got a sales job at Valley Total Fitness, right? And our regional sales guy, his name was Pete Galgano. <laughs> Shout out to Pete Galgano. Big, wise guy looking Italian guy. You know, he, he oversaw the whole Illinois as far as sales, he, he was just a beast at sales, right? And he would come into my office, man, and he would say, how many sales did you get the last month? And I'd say, you know, I got X amount of sales. He was like, that's not good enough. You want to live on Lower Wacker Drive? I was like, what the fuck is Lower Wacker Drive? Because I'm from New York. I, I don't know what Lower Wacker Drive is. He said, Lower Wacker Drive is where all the bums and peddlers live in cardboard boxes, living in, living on blankets and shit. You don't start getting your sales up, you're going to be living on Lower Wacker Drive. I said, fuck that, dude. I don't want to be living on no damn Lower Wacker Drive. And it pushed me. It pushed me. And, you know, because he was such an elite salesperson, he knew how to motivate people to get their sales up. See, sales, the reason why a lot of people stay away from sales is because of the rejection. Rejection can be very, very difficult for people to deal with. It's like approaching somebody that you really, really liked and you want to date them and they shoot you down and they're tell, they tell you that they're not interested. That rejection hurts. It hurts when someone tells you, no, I don't want to buy your product. No, I'm not interested in the services that you're offering. And to strong arm or power through that type of rejection takes a certain type of finesse and skills that is you know you have to take your time with it 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 is a craft it is like boxing you have to learn how to throw a jab before you can start doing all the fancy shit with all the defense and the footwork and uppercuts and hooks and shit you have to first master things like jabs if you don't do stuff like, if you don't learn the fundamentals, the fundamentals of sales, you can get yourself a nice blanket in a cardboard box and get real comfortable on lower Wacker Drive. That's what it was about. So dealing with rejections, you have to learn techniques. Now, some of you guys, y'all learn a little bit of sales here and then you run away and then you go learn some other shit. Here's the facts about business. Business is boring. That's the fact. Business is boring. You can find, you try to find enjoyment out of it, but for the most part, you're doing systematic things. You're creating processes. You're, you're developing systems and processes and sales to build up your company and sometimes it's like you're doing the same thing over and over and over again someone to get bored and be like i need to spice this shit up let me try this and it's when you deviate from the process and the systems that you have created to bring a little more excitement to your 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 business that's when your business starts fucking up Looking for real estate deals and investments isn't fucking exciting. People, 
the real estate investors will go through maybe 50 to 100 properties looking through skimming over and looking at um areas where's the schools all that shit is boring as fuck you're looking for excitement take your ass down to a concert go watch a ufc fight or something business is a game of intelligence business is a game of warfare resiliency this ain't like, hey, today we're going to fucking do all this. Gr no, you are doing trial and error and you're developing processes and systems. Sales is no different. When you begin to develop a sales process, a sales system, what happens is you're able to take that same model, that same system and process, and you are you will be able to duplicate that to any fucking business you touch. That's why you'll see people like a Diddy or a Jay-Z or right now Nas is fucking killing it. Nas has a system. He has a process where he knows that if I continue doing this system and the process and I don't really deviate much, maybe I might tweak a couple of things but for the most part if I continue to follow this system and process I will continue to achieve success that's when you say damn everything this person touches turns the goal see my goal is to learn everything about sales everything because my ultimate goal is to continue to build companies. And the most vital part of any business is the, to have a system and process that generates revenue. And what generates revenue? Sales and marketing. All that other foo-foo shit doesn't do it. Sales and marketing is what generates sales. Marketing attracts the customers to it. Sales is what closes them and pulls the revenue out of them. And I have to learn everything. Whether you're looking to be a public speaker, okay, I can develop this. The process that I use to sell this product, I can inject that into your public speaking, and now you can sell 10 times more of whatever product or services that you're offering. You have a restaurant? Okay, inject this sales process and system into your restaurant and it's going to increase your revenue and profit margins. Sales is what makes your business boom. Period. So you have to take your time with it. Stop rushing it. Stop looking for these quick fixes, these fucking band-aids, all this get rich quick. You have to take your time. Any place worth going is going to fucking, you know, you're going to have to take your time with it. There's no shortcuts to an, the ultimate goal. You have to slowly learn this shit, but you can start, you can make big progress by applying certain methods. Certain methods, it's like a hinge on a door. The hint, I mean, look at look at the door next to you. If you're near a fucking door right now, look at a door and look at how small a hinge is. But yet that small little hinge is swinging open a big ass door, whether it's a car door, house, bathroom, whatever it is. Those small little hinges allow you to fucking swing open a 45 to 60 pound door with your pinky. That is the power of one, having a, a person that knows what the fuck they're talking about. And two, applying this shit. So I employ you guys again. Wait, shout out to all you guys, man. What the fuck? I didn't even see you guys pop up. Vanessa, Sharon, Tracy, Paula, Cortez, 
Alcyon, Rihanna. Shout out to all you guys. Salute to all you guys tuning in too. But I implore you guys, if you guys have not signed up for my sales and marketing boot camp, which is free, which is free, you're you're making a grave mistake. If you're not an entrepreneur, don't don't even worry about it. Don't even think about signing up for it. It's not for you. But if you are an entrepreneur or you're a businessman or a businesswoman and you're looking to scale your business up, look, all this is, all my sales and marketing boot camp is, is every three days I send you an email with powerful strategies and insider tips that will help you increase your sales every three days. I'm not sending you fucking emails every day because there's no way you can fucking consume all of that content every goddamn day. I send it to you every three days. That way you could, it's small little dosages. You, you can't eat an elephant in one sitting. You have to take bites. You have to take bites. You have to eat it in portions. So I send you emails with insider tips that you can apply in your business real time every three days every three days i'm sending you specific types of emails that will help you generate more revenue and more profits for your business so again if you guys haven't signed up for my sales and marketing boot camp which is free you're making a great mistake you're making a great mistake i got numbers to prove that i am a sales international sales expert I do this shit because I love it. I eat it. I shit it. I, I, everything about sales. All I want to do is lace you guys with a foundation, just the fundamentals. The fundamentals alone will send you light years ahead from people that don't have sales skills at all. So with that said, you don't want to be living on Lower Wacker Drive. I don't want it. You don't want it. Learn some sales and marketing and build that business. Peace, love, and happiness to you and your family. This is Tiger Toledo, your humble hip-hop sales coach, signing out. Peace. By the way, share this video with your fellow entrepreneur. One.